and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a different and an interesting recipe which is broccoli paratha. We are all quite familiar with aloo paratha, gobi paratha, muli paratha etc. I thought why don't I try broccoli in a paratha form, in a desi form. We all know that broccoli is a vegetable which is generally used in salads and other continental dishes. So now let's see how to make this broccoli paratha. Now for the ingredients, I have kneaded the atta dough here and I have taken 1 cup of broccoli and 1 medium sized onion. That is all we need for this. So for the paratha, we need finely chopped vegetable. Hence I am going to use my chopper here to finely chop my onions and the broccoli. First I will add this one medium sized onion to this. If you want it more fine, you may do it again. Now the onions are done. I'm going to transfer this to a plate. Next in the same chopper, I am going to add these broccolis. That's it, our broccoli is also nicely done. In a pan, I have added some oil. To this, I am adding cumin seeds. Once this cumin seed splutters, I am adding the chopped onions. Once the onions are sauteed, I am going to add this finely chopped broccoli to this. To this, I am going to add some salt. some turmeric, some red chilli powder, some coriander powder, little bit of jeera powder. That's it. So after sautéing it for a couple of minutes, this is done. I am putting off the stove. You may also add chaat masala or garam masala to this as per your choice. But I have not added anything. You can also add grated paneer to this. 
I have kept my tawa here for the paratha. Now I am going to roll the paratha. Always use a towel or a newspaper or something under this so that the dust from this dough doesn't fall and make the counter messy all around. So it makes your cleaning easy. Taking a ball. Now I'm just rolling this slightly. I'm going to add this stuffing just like the way we do any normal paratha. Close this. Seal it. Does this? The sealed portion have to be at the bottom and start rolling it gently. That's it. You can see I have tried to make it as thin as possible. That's all. I need to put this on the tawa. This. It will take about, you know, Three four minutes. I'm going to drizzle some oil. Keep flipping it till the time both the sides are well cooked. That's it. We are done. Transferring this to a casserole. So that's it. Our paratha is ready. Parathas are generally served with some pickle and curd with a dollop of butter on top so let me taste this wow it tastes yum so if you like this recipe don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.